good morning. I give it a minute for people to get on here as I stretch, take a little break. As I told you, I'll be going live from the road. I told you I'd be going live, and it has uh, been a very busy time, so I, I didn't go live like I said I would, but right now, I'm taking a break from the motorcycle, and I'm going live, so give it a minute to get some folks on here. It is a beautiful day down here in Texas. through the heart of Texas it was uh, sun was rising the oil fields you saw that all the little oil pumps was pumping everything was going really I mean it was just beautiful really good. what's up Thomas what's up fish what's up country boy hey Dwight what's up Bronx brothers let's see uh, chopper dude what's happening got 50 people on here hey let me tell you a story real quick before I get back on the motorcycle. I thought I just turned, I turned my camera off. I just heard my GoPro. Man, I just drained another battery because I didn't turn it off. So, all right guys, so let me tell you a story. I'm gonna sit right here on this curve. And well, I'm not gonna sit on this curve because there's scorpions here in Texas. <laughs> so let me tell you this. All right. What happened was, last night, I checked into a hotel. I left, you guys can check it for yourself. I'm, you guys can, yeah, I'm, I'm All right, you guys can check it out for yourself. Last night, well yesterday morning at 6.03 a.m., I left Temecula, California at South Coast Winery. And um, started my road trip across back to Tennessee. went to bed well it said it said uh, this morning when I, woke up, I was just wanting to see how far away I was from where I started and it said that I was 949 miles away from my starting point when I checked it it was Temecula time five o'clock in the morning Remember, guys, I left at 6.03. So I was like, I'm 949 miles away. And the iron butt, you have to complete it within 24 hour span. So I was like, you know what? If I would have known that I was that close last night, you know what I mean? The hotel was just, I was just staying in the hotel. If I would have known that I was that close to making an iron butt, I would have just kept on going. So I was like, I just forget it. Then I thought, well, wait a minute. It's not 6.03 in Temecula. It's actually 5.03. So I got 51 miles and I got about 57 minutes to get the bike loaded up and to get this 51 miles in. Well guys, I took off going down the road and uh, I'm, ha I'm happy to say I made it. I made it. I pulled over, I got that 51 miles in with six minutes to spare, I pulled over on the side of the road and you'll see that on the video when I make the real video. You'll see that. So in a 24 hour span, I went, actually it was 107 miles. So in a, in a 24 hour span. And it's funny that I can't believe that I went to sleep and slept for that couple of hours and finished it. I really wish I would have just did it last night and uh, finished it all last night. Stopping that close. 949 miles, stopping that close. When I wasn't even tired, I should have just kept on going and finished it like that in one night. But technically, I say technically, and I really, I don't I don't like the way I did it. So I'm gonna say this one doesn't count, but I did it. 24 hours, 
1,010 miles, I think, to be exact. So, guys, you might be wondering what I'm riding. Well, it's a touring motorcycle. It's, uh, it's been treating me really well. The motorcycle has been treating me really well. Uh, it's been some long days. Like, I'll tell you what, I'll say this. I don't care what type of seat you have on the motorcycle. I'm spending almost, <laughs> almost a thousand miles a day on the motorcycle. The seat is not going to be comfortable. So, uh, actually, 24, 25 hours? No, no, no. 24 hours. Less than 24 hours somebody said actually 25 hours no i did it in, in 24 hours so uh oh the wind is killing this you can't hear me sorry about that let me see if i can block the wind a little bit does that help hopefully that helps all right so i'm excited about it the iron butt which could have been finished last night i kept going kept going and uh i would have been i, I would have did the whole thing so anyway Guys, I just wanted to update you again from the road. I'm excited about it. I'm starting off this morning, cutting through Texas. So if you see me streaking through Texas, well, you don't know what I'm riding, but if you see me streaking through Texas, wave at me. Well, you might recognize my helmet. But uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. But that's over with. I still got a thousand plus miles to get home. So I'm gonna try to knock out a thousand miles today. Maybe not a full thousand, I don't know. I got 1,200 miles to get home, so um, I'm going to do as many miles as I can today. All right, so guys, thank you for your prayers, and uh, thank you for uh, joining me this morning. Hopefully, let's see the new bike. No, no, I got a, I got a reveal video for you. I'm not going to show you that right now. I'm not going to show it to you right now, Thomas. So hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys will tune in later on. Maybe when I get to the hotel tonight, I'll show you the new bike. But all right, guys. I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. Again, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Keep gliding. And as always, have a blessed day.